Hi, Jennifer Nicely here with Pinnacle Real Estate Academy. Today I'm in the gorgeous Grand Central Station in New York, New York. Hopefully you're going to be able to hear me and hopefully no one comes behind me and stops to take a picture and blocks my view. But today I wanted to talk to you about how to save money on a mortgage. Most people get a 30-year mortgage and there are 15-year and there are uh, uh, less terms to purchase if you would like to, but the majority of people get a 30-year mortgage. Now, what I would like to, for you to do are a couple of simple little steps. It doesn't necessarily cost you a lot more money. This isn't, I'm not asking you to dump 90% of your paycheck into your mortgage. There are simple, simple steps. So, a couple to get started. First of all, when you first got your mortgage, you most likely got letters in the mail from the bank that said you could do a um, bi-monthly payment meaning you could pay twice a month on your mortgage. So let's say that you have a uh, $1,000 mortgage payment and you make that $1,000 payment once a month. Instead of paying it once a month, pay $500 on the 1st and $500 on the 15th. So you're gonna break it up into two payments and you're gonna pay that payment every two weeks. So every other week, you're gonna make a $500 payment. So you're still paying your $1,000. What this does is there are 52 weeks in the year. So there are certain months that have five weeks in it and others that have three or four weeks in it. So what it actually does is it makes you pay more in a year on your mortgage. If you pay every two weeks this way, it'll knock off seven years of your mortgage payment. Now, in return, I want you to also, also do an extra mortgage payment each year. So if your mortgage payment is $1,000 a month, every year, does not matter what month, every year make an additional $1,000 mortgage payment and make sure that entire $1,000 goes to, to your principal. If you do not specify where that money goes, then they will put it in escrow. So make sure it goes on your principal. What that does is it pays an extra payment just like you're doing while, when you're paying 500 every two weeks. If you make a thousand extra a year, then it will pay off and knock off seven years of your loan. So now you've got two ways to knock off seven years of your loan without paying much extra money. Now, the next tactic I have is let's say you're buying a $100,000 home just to keep numbers simple and uh, understandable. Let's say you're buying a $100,000 home and the bank wants you to put down a $20,000 down payment. That is 20%. That is normally what the bank wants. You can always put down less. However, P, um, if you put down 20%, you won't have to pay your PMI or MIP and that's a whole nother video, okay? So if you put down your 20% and it's $20,000, but you have 30,000 to put down and you want to put that entire 30,000 down on your home, I don't recommend you do that at the day of closing. Go ahead and put what the lender is asking you to put down, which is the 20%, so you don't have to pay your PMI or your MIP, and make a couple of mortgage payments. Move into the house, close on the house, make a couple of mortgage payments. After a couple of mortgage payments, take that extra $10,000 you had and put it towards the principal. When you put it towards principal like that, it's gonna knock down the principal balance of your loan and your interest, your, your payment that you pay each month, you're gonna be paying less interest and more principal. So you're gonna get a better return on that $10,000 if you pay it after you close on your home and put it towards the principal than if you pay it at the time of closing. So, couple of tricks to help you save money on your mortgage. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, give us a call 843-410-3340 or visit us at PinnacleRealEstateAcademy.com.